As a post-conflict country, women in East Timor face many problems. Poverty, domestic violence, limited access to education, and injustice. If we are investing in the mothers, we invest in the future of this country. So Alola's foundation established with the objective to increase women's and children's status in all aspects of life. Women's access to health facilities, it's very small. So our interventions in the health area, one is in community-based and one is in facility-based. Our program is very strong, specifically in maternal and child health. In facility-based, we work in hospitals with our newborn care activities. We work to give our counseling about the importance of the first six month exclusive breastfeeding and assist the women if they have a problem. And in community based, our program is to support the mothers in their village. Some of the women, they don't want to come to health facility. So the maternity pack is one of the strategy to increase women's access because we provide some baby wrap, women's clothes, and information on postnatal care and family planning. And also how to contact our mother support group in community. We have a very high malnutrition rate. So we encourage mother to grow vegetables, potatoes, cassava. And so every month, our staff go out to district to assist them on how to prepare the food. <laughs> Cooking demonstration, that's one of their favorite sessions in community. They come together and they learn about the way to prepare food. Today, they say that after the six months exclusive breastfeeding, local food is rich of the vitamins and minerals, and it is really important for the baby. The most problem affect from the children from the post-conflict country is uh, psychological. Many of children, they live in the road, like street children. Their place is in a classroom. The mobile library we design engage parents and community about importance of reading. Ida, Ida. Ida, Ida. Our staff also provide some education games, numbers, shapes, and the alphabets. In East Timor, 47% of people still living under poverty line, and this is of course mostly women. The most of the uh, issues that we deal with the women in the city is uh, how to advocate and how to empower them. In the Women Resource Center, men and women come to get assistance from us, how to write CV and training. We come in a one commitment that we want to do better and we want to do more to serve our respective community. This award is not just only for us, only for Alola, but for children, for women, and for this country.